Okay, so we are up to this stage. We've got some uh, good shapes coming through, and um, we're starting to get that sort of very um, biomechanical um, looking hive wall that uh, will stack nicely when we put these um, static meshes end to end. So now um, what we should uh, perhaps try is um, dividing this mesh up a little bit more. So I'll hit that once just to sort of have a look. Yep. You'll notice that we are getting some rounding on the corners here. But at this stage, um, because uh, these corners are going to be so far back from where they will be visible, I'm not too worried about it. It'll only really be affecting the normal map anyway. It's not going to cause the actual geometry in our level to shrink in. So um, if it's going to be hidden uh, behind the rest of the geometry, I'm not too uh, too particularly worried about that. So with one sort of smooth operation, we can uh, we can see it's sort of starting to look the way that it's it's meant to. And another thing that we can see is that our layer, which is layer zero, um, has become greyed out. That's because we are now at subdivision level four and um, it only actually is active on subdivision level 3. So that's something to keep in mind when we add layers. So any sculpting that we do from here on in, if we want to keep them on layers, we'll have to create a new layer. All right. So I'm going to take the frame off. I'm also going to switch materials back to basic material just to give us some idea of how it sort of looks. Okay. I will divide one more time. And we can see that it it's really starting to smooth in now. The creases that we um have on these edges are holding up and so we do have those hard lines there and um, those will stay um, pretty much tight until we get to very high levels of division. If we did want to remove those creases all we would need to do is to um, select the area that we wanted to remove the crease from and we can hit the uh, uncrease edges button. Uh, now the we can uncrease all of the edges that we have creased if we hold down a button and I forget what it is so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold control whilst hovering over the button and control will bring up the tooltip or the um, a description of each tool um, as you hover the mouse over it. And so you can see that shift clicking this button removes crease tags from the edges of all polygons in the visible mesh portions. So if we wanted to we could shift click now and remove all of these creases and um, I might just do that just as an example. So I'll go back to subdivision level 4, uh, just undoing to that level, not um, dragging back. I'm just going to um, shift click on uncrease. Now if I divide, you'll notice that the edges themselves have got a slightly sort of beveled or rounded look to them which means that those creases have in fact been taken off. But I'm going to undo that now because I want to keep those creases on there. So at subdivision level 5, I'm going to go up to my layers tab and 
I can't seem to create a new layer. Hang on just a moment. Okay, after playing around just a little bit, I've um, discovered the problem. Uh, because I had the 3D layer 0 selected at subdivision level 3, um, going up and down in the um, resolution, um, I couldn't create a new layer because it was still uh, thinking that we have to write to that 3D layer 0. So what I can do is I just click on this to deselect it and I'll take it up to our subdivision level 5 and we will just hit a new 3D layer there. And Just to make sure that that is working I've got my standard brush here. If I just sort of create sort of a bulge shape there I can turn that layer on and off. That doesn't affect the um, the rest of my mesh. So to um, to disable a a layer, we will we will have to go to the subdivision level of that layer. We'll have to make sure that the previous layer is also switched off. And so there you go, that's uh, a little bit of layer know-how and it's something that I didn't know, I had to sort of quickly tap on various buttons to try and work out what I was doing wrong. But as you can see we can get, we can get down to more detailed effects. Now I will just um, go to this layer here and um, I don't want this um, particular sculpting that I've applied to this mesh um, so I want to get rid of it. Uh, one quick way to do that is to select the layer that I've sculpted onto. I just hit delete Ooh actually. I'll just control Z that. I'll make it invisible and then delete it and that will take away all of that information that was on that layer. And then I can create a new 3D layer, uh, 3D layer 1 and I can sculpt more information into that one. So now I'm just going to um, save my tool and I will save this as a new increment as O2 and there we go. Um, you'll notice again I've forgotten to bring the subdivision levels down so I'll do that and I will resave my tool just to be on the safe side.